Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a little update on my active solar. I did a little testing and kind of got it working a lot better. I had to buy, this is called a snap disc control fan. What It's a thermostat. And in my other video, you can go watch the other video how I built it. I started with a, a 90 to 110. So at 110, it would close the circuit and start the fan. And at 90 degrees, it shuts off. Well, this one didn't work. It was getting clear up to 140 before it went on. So I went and bought another one. And it's an 80 to 90. So at 90 degrees, it'll turn on. But it actually turns on oh, a little hotter than that, probably about 120 or so. And I had to, they come with little spacers and a plate. So what I did is I put the spacers on so it ain't directly inside because it was turning on too quick. And it wouldn't, it doesn't cool off fast enough. It, the fan was running constantly. So I got it spaced out about a half inch from the, there's a hole in the back and then it's spaced about a half inch and it's it's working pretty good now. The fan still, the fan will run for quite a while but that's because the temperature inside is, you know, it's like 90 degrees. We started at 70 degrees. I put a thermometer up at the top here where the air will be blowing out so with 70 degrees in here I had that's not coming there it is well now it's 75 degrees because I've had it on for about 10 minutes but and I have a thermometer inside and right now we're at a hundred degrees so I'm gonna plug in what I do, what I have is a 12 volt power supply and I bought this at Radio Shack it's a good one and we'll plug that in that might be already plug that into the wall and then this plugs into here If you don't run the fan, I was getting temperatures up to 145 degrees. The interior temperature of the solar collector. Uh, I started at, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. And the inside temperature is up to about 104 degrees. So we'll just kind of do some temperature readings the fan is plugged in it hasn't turned on yet when it reaches we'll see what temperature the interior of this gets to before it turns on I have it out about a half inch now because it was turning on right at about a hundred degrees and that was I wanted it to get a little hotter before the fan turns on. Right now we're getting up to about shoot, that's not, 75 degrees. I plugged everything in at 9 o'clock. And it's about 5 after 9 in the morning. Now you can adjust this. You can put this thermostat directly inside and your uh, fan will go on when it hits about 100 degrees. It'll go on right away. And then it'll pretty much run until it cools down. It'll run all day long. It, it only uses 0.3 amps. So it doesn't use a lot of electricity, but I wanted it to heat up a little more and you, so you can move this in and out 
and mess around with it to set it how you like but That's how it works. We're up to, it's getting pushing 80 degrees now and it's about 10 after 9. It's been about a half hour. The air flowing out of the hot air collector is 85 degrees now. It's slowly going up. It's a nice sunny day. The sun's clear over to the east it's just starting to come around so it's not heating up yet the inside temperature is 109 degrees so far and the fan hasn't kicked on yet and I'm glad it hasn't before it probably would have kicked on by now because I had this thermostat pushed in all the way I wanted it to heat up a little hotter so we'll see where it goes on when the fan goes on so we're just getting passive solar right now the air can still flow through this fan here and just the natural flow the cool air goes in and flows out through the top it's about 70 degrees in the room Come back in another half an hour or when the fan kicks in I'll come back okay it's a quarter till 10 I put it in I turned it on at or started testing at 9 o'clock we are at 115 degrees inside the hot air collector the fan still hasn't kicked on, and I don't really want it to kick on yet. That's why I pulled it out. Pulled the thermostat out a little bit. If you push it, again, if you put it all the way in, this thermostat would have turned on by now, but it'll, it would have run all day long. Because it would continually blow out above 80 degree air. So if you want it to do that, then push your thermostat in and we're at we were at a hundred degrees it's dropped a little bit below there's a few sm small clouds out today so it's not heating up continuously but we were at a hundred and then a for the most part it's mostly sunny but as you can see it's a nice cold winter day Still at about 115 degrees. And the temperature is at right at 100. 45 minutes in. Okay, a little bit after 10 o'clock. We are at 126 degrees interior, hot air. We're up to about See if I can get it. Ah. Well, I'm not getting it. There we go. About a hundred and five degrees. The hot air flowing through, coming out, and the fan is still not on, so we'll keep keep her going here. Which is okay, I don't really want the fan to go on yet. Hopefully it goes on at about 130 degrees. That's what I'd like. Okay, we're about 20 after... And... 20 after 10, the fan just kicked on. It kicked on at 100 and... 29 degrees we're down to 120 so you can see the temperatures dropping down the thermometer reached a hundred and 
10 degrees and we're down it's cooled off it's all it's been running for about one minute and we're down to a hundred degree air flowing through so that's working great now that's how I wanted it pretty much how I wanted it to run if you want yours to run differently just move the thermostat in and out let's see temperatures down to one 15 and it's been running for two minutes it's 10:22. it went on exactly at 10 20 the fan kicked in you can see how it works uh, you can see the air flowing out is Drop below a little bit below a hundred now. And this inside temperature is 111 degrees. I can put my hand, it's nice warm air flowing out through there. I'll grab some toilet paper and hold it up so you can see that. Okay, I taped some toilet paper on so you can kind of get an idea. Nice steady flow of warm air coming out. See the fans running. Nice and everything's nice and cool. I'll grab the thermometer. I just wanted to show that how that air flows through there really well. It's been running for about five minutes, six, five or six minutes, and it's continually blowing out about 90 degrees air. It's like right around 10:30. And this will probably run for quite a while gonna take a while for this to cool it to cool down now since the sun's just a little bit to the east of the panel 10 30 in the morning and the inside temperature is running around 106 degrees continuously now of course if we had some clouds go by but the clouds have pretty much dissipated and it's a nice bright sunny day that's why I wanted to do it today um, we'll come back one more time when this shuts off if it does again you can adjust your thermostat in and out to however you want so we'll see if this shuts off this thermostat will shut off when the the temperature of this reaches 80 degrees the temperature of the thermostat which it might not because we're still at air flows 90 degrees still flowing out of there it's about 70 degrees in the room here so there's 70 degree air flowing in and then 90 degrees flowing out that's not dropping okay it's about 20 till 11 and I I put a, another thermometer on the bottom which is, which is really interesting to see okay here's the top Ugh, if we can get a shot we're at 80 degrees right at There we go. Right at 80. Whoa, we're at close to 90 degrees. Right at 90 degrees. And then, as you can tell, down at the bottom, I put one by the fan. 
so the air going in is at 70 degrees so we're from the air down here to up above it's a 20 degree difference now that is really interesting the inside temperature now is at 104 degrees so it's continually blowing out about 90 degree air so this thermostat might not shut off until the sun actually goes down or it gets cloudy so we'll let her run it's only using up 0.3 amps so it's cooled down just a hair below 90 now the upper And we're right at 70 degree air flowing in. Okay, I just wanted to show this. We're pushing 100 degrees right now. The sun is at about, it's about 11 o'clock and the sun is at about 11 o'clock east of direct noon sunlight. The more the sun gets closer to directly 12 o'clock position, the higher this is heating up, even with the fan on. So we're blowing out, you know. Uh, at least 95 degree air coming out of there. So this thermostat is not going to shut down if you have direct sunlight. And down here, we're still running. Ah, it's so hard to see this. 70 degrees. 70 degree air coming in to the, to the bottom. And it's heating all the way up to at least 95. We're, we're up to about 90 six degrees so a good 25 degree difference from down from the air coming in to the air coming out about 11 o'clock okay YouTube I'm gonna wrap this video up no need to keep going we're pushing out close to a hundred degree air and it's not even noon yet so I don't anticipate this fan going off till at least around two or three o'clock this afternoon I'll leave that I'll put that in my uh, notes but I wanted to wrap this video up it's already 18 20 minutes you can still see the temperatures going in at right around 70 degrees this fan is just for reference this fan moves about 10 cubic feet per minute of airflow this room is about 10 by 11 so by about 8 foot tall so that's 880 cubic feet of air just in this room obviously we're pulling air in through the rest of the house but in this room if you have a 10 by 11 that's 880 cubic feet of airflow so you could with that fan you could move all the air in this room in about eight minutes eight or nine about ten minutes I will put the uh, in the description I'll let you know how when that what time that fan shuts off the Sun is not even direct at noon yet so I'm sure it will keep heating up we're at right at a hundred degree airflow and 70 down so very interesting I'm very happy with the way this is working 
And thank you guys for watching. And gals. Thanks YouTube. I have to add, if you want to see how I built this, and it explains a lot more in detail how this is built, go to the other two videos that I made. The passive solar, and then I changed the passive into an active solar. There's two videos before this. Thank you.